Did you grow up watching the hilarious sitcom The Honeymooners? It followed blue-collar workers Ralph Cramden and Ed Norton who tried to hit it big. The show was a success because it was relatable to so many average Americans. But what made it a huge hit was its stellar cast members. The Honeymooners cast included actors and actresses who had successful careers in TV and film. They helped make one of the funniest and most influential shows in American history. Sadly, many of these great cast members have passed away. Let's look back on their incredible careers and this great show. Art Carney Art Carney was born November 4, 1918, in Mount Vernon, New York. He was the youngest of six, and his father worked as a publicist. Art was drafted into the Army and served as an infantryman and also served as a machine gun crewman during the Second World War. During the Battle of Normandy, he was injured by shrapnel and walked with a limp for the rest of his life. He was awarded several medals for his valor during wartime, including the World War II Victory Medal. Upon returning to civilian life, he began a career working in radio. He began his career as a comic singer with Horace Heights Orchestra. He appeared on the radio program Pot of Gold and then began his film career with an uncredited role in the film based on the radio show. It was during this time he improved his comedic and mimicry skills. He became especially popular on the radio and TV versions of The Maury Amsterdam Show. He then met comedian Jackie Gleason. The two of them worked well together and soon became a popular duo. They made the perfect cast members for Ralph Cramden and Ed Norton on The Honeymooners. Art Carney's role as Ed Norton became one of the most popular characters on TV. Art received seven Emmy nominations and won six of them. He continued to work in TV after The Honeymooners, including his own variety show, The Art Carney Special. He also released music for Columbia Records. His most popular hits included Twas the Night Before Christmas and The Song of the Sewer. Many of these songs were comical and aimed towards younger audiences. He also had a prolific career in cinema. He won an Oscar for his role as Harry in the 1974 movie Harry and Tonto. He also appeared in many other popular feature films like The Late Show, Going in Style, The Muppets Take Manhattan, and Last Action Hero, which was his final film role. On stage, he appeared in Broadway productions of The Odd Couple and Take Her, She's Mine. He died in his sleep at age 85 in 2003. Before we tell you more about the Honeymooners cast members who have died, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Pert Kelton Pert Kelton was born October 14, 1907 in Great Falls, Montana. She came from a show business background. Both her parents were vaudeville performers. She also had an aunt named Jane Kelton, who was a famous stage actress during the late 1800s and early 1900s. Jane appeared in a play called Checkers in which she played a character named Pert, which is where Pert Kelton got her name. Pert began her acting career at age three on stage with her parents in Cape Town, South Africa. She continued to appear with her parents on stage, touring together as the Three Keltons. She had her first major role on stage in the musical comedy Sunny when she was 17 years old. Her first film role came in her early 20s when she appeared as Rosie in the film Sally alongside Marilyn Miller. She continued acting in major films like The Bowery, Bed of Roses, and Whispering Enemies, and she pursued work in radio and TV. Her stardom landed her the role of Alice Cramden in The Honeymooners. She played the doting wife to Ralph Cramden, played by Jackie Gleason. Unfortunately for her, the role didn't last. She was eventually blacklisted by Hollywood. This was a phenomenon that caused many entertainers to stop receiving work because they were communists or communist sympathizers. She was replaced by Audrey Meadows. Years after the Blacklist era, she reappeared in films like The Music Man and Love and Kisses. She was also a part owner of a hotel called the Warner Kelton Hotel. She died of a heart attack in 1968 at age 61. Audrey Meadows Once Pert Kelton was made to leave the Honeymooners, Audrey Meadows stepped in to take on the role of Alice Cramden. Audrey was also from a show business family, with the actress Jane Meadows being her elder sister. She was born in 1922 in New York. She began her acting career as soon as she finished high school. She appeared in the Broadway musical Top Banana. She soon became a regular on the variety show The Bob and Ray Show. Upon receiving her role as Alice Cramden, she became a household name. She had originally auditioned for the show but was initially rejected by Jackie Gleason. She then altered her appearance and mannerisms to better suit Alice Cramden. Jackie then changed his mind and Audrey's portrayal of Alice became the favorite one. Outside of The Honeymooner, she also appeared on TV shows like Alfred Hitchcock Presents, Murder, She Wrote, and The Red Skelton Show. She eventually retired from acting and had an 11-year career as the director of the First National Bank of Denver. In 1994, she published her memoir, Love, Alice, My Life as a Honeymooner. 
She died in 1996 due to complications from lung cancer. She was 73. Jackie Gleason The star of The Honeymooners was popular comedian Jackie Gleason. Gleason portrayed Ralph Cramden, a bus driver who wanted to make it big. His character resonated with the average Joe who wanted to achieve the American dream. Gleason was born February 26, 1916 in New York City. He grew up at 328 Chauncey, which would later become the address that Ralph and Alice Cramden lived in. He became interested in performing when he appeared in a school play. He dropped out of school and found a job as a master of ceremonies at a local theater. He later tried his luck at comedy. He began traveling around the country performing stand-up in nightclubs. He got his big break at New York's Club 18, where he made a joke about the famous ice skater Sonia Henney. At this nightclub, insulting the patrons was part of the comedian's act. He spotted the skater, handed her an ice cube, and stated, Okay, now do something. It was on this fateful night he was spotted by studio exec Jack Warner, who decided Jackie Gleason was destined for the big screen. In his 20s, he appeared in feature films like Navy Blues, All Through the Night, and Springtime in the Rockies. He began his TV career in the late 40s, and eventually was given his own variety show, The Jackie Gleason Show. It was on this show he introduced audiences to the character of Ralph Cramden in a variety of sketches. The popularity of Ralph, his wife Alice, and their friends led to the sitcom The Honeymooners. Jackie Gleason was also a musician. He released over 50 albums, mostly for Capitol Records. He was a prolific performer throughout his life. By the time he died, he was considered a national treasure. He died at 71 in 1987 due to complications from colon and liver cancer. Joyce Randolph Joyce Randolph is the only surviving member from the main cast of The Honeymooners. She played Trixie Norton, Ed's wife and Alice's closest friend. Joyce was born October 21, 1924 in Detroit. She began her career on stage and graduated to bit parts on TV shows. She also appeared in a commercial for Clarette's Chewing Gum. Jackie Gleason saw the commercial and asked her to appear in a skit for his variety show, Cavalcade of Stars. He was impressed by her talent, and she was soon cast as Trixie Norton in The Honeymooners. Her performance as Trixie was so popular that many producers were reluctant to offer her roles, stating audiences wouldn't see her as anyone but Trixie. Her work following The Honeymooners was thus sporadic. But she embraced her role, and even as recently as the 2000s, she would meet fans of The Honeymooners to discuss the show, sign autographs, and take pictures. Now it's time to hear from you. Are you a fan of The Honeymooners? Who was your favorite character? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.